Right, so we've been doing calculations in reports. We're now going to do some calculations in queries in Microsoft Access. So the first thing we're going to do is create our query. So I'm going to go to create. I'm going to choose my query design. I'm going to choose my stock table. Code, category, and you know what? Let's go description. And let's do the um, retail price. There we go. So as an example, I'm going to say, you know what, let's say, for example, we have a sale going on and we want to discount everything by 15% or 20%, let's say 20%. So I want to create a field called discount price so I can sort of see what the discount price is going to be. Then I want to create another field with a, query, with a calculation where it shows me what the final retail price is going to be. So this is going to be interesting because I've got two new fields that I'm going to create for this query. So I'm going to create this query now. So here we go. Retail price. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a name. Let's call it uh, discount. That's the first thing. And I'm going to put a uh, colon. There it is there. Colon. So I've got my, my field name is going to be called discount. And I put a colon there because now it tells Microsoft Access that I'm going to work something out. So this is where I begin. How do I work out the discount? Well, the discount is going to be the retail price. And remember, I'm referencing the retail price field. And you'll notice the R I've left out. I'm going to make that a capital R. Retail price times 0.20. Let's make a 0.20. So that is going to give me 20% of that price. Let's see what happens if I run this query as is. There you can see I've got code, category, description, retail price. I forgot to put the tick there. Put the tick there. There it is there. There's my discounted price. Okay, so, so far, so good. I can then format that and I can say, you know what? Let's just make sure that this is currency. There it is there. Great. Did you guys see what I did there? Yes. Right click properties in my property sheet. Okay. I went to format because here I am in my discount field format and I just chose currency as my field. Now we're going to create another field with a calculation and that's going to be called new retail price new retail price colon and then a space and now i can work it out so what's the new retail price well it is the retail price uh, less the discount so let's do that so i go retail price field the retail price field and you know what i'm going to just make this a little wider for you guys less and because i've gone and created this discount field now as well so it creates it as it runs it i can reference that i can reference that field there it is there discount price like that and you know what i'm going to format this make sure that's showing whoops i'm going to format this one as well let's format that as currency while we're doing it currency there we go awesome put that out the way now let's have a look and see what will happen when I run this query? Discount price asking for a value. Oh, oh, do you know why? Do you know why? I made a mistake and I'm actually glad I did because I can show you what the problem is. This happens with some matrix in their final exams and then they start freaking out or they just ignore it. This is telling me that it's looking for a field called discount price, which doesn't exist. Sorry, that was my bad. So go back here and you can see here, I wrote there discount price. The field name is actually discount. I hope you picked that up while I was typing this in because I was wrong. Now I'm right. Have a look, run, and there it is. So there you can see I've got the retail price, the new discount, and the new retail price is now there. And that is how we do a basic calculation. So you might get all kinds of calculations to do in a new field like you see here. And it's just a matter of making sure that you reference your fields correctly. You know what multiplies is the asterisk, the forward slash is divide, plus and minus, you know. And you can also do things like um, working out, you know, AVG or sum or max or min even, okay. Just use it like you would use it in Excel. Just be aware of the structure in your field uh, when you are putting in your, your fields and calculations.